Hi guys, it's Pope Hat XI. Like my new body? Aren't I very pretty? Anyway, today I have a pretty big video that I've been pretty excited to make for a while now. It's about exporting characters from GoAnimate. Have you ever thought about using your GoAnimate characters in a non GoAnimate animation software, or in a game? Well, it's actually sort of possible. The techniques I will show you will work for any type of GoAnimate character. Whether that be business friendly, comedy world, or any other theme, I feel particularly passionate about getting this video up, because I hope it will save a bunch of non business friendly themes before Flash support is completely removed. Now that you understand my motivation for this video, and several things you can do with your exported characters let's talk about how you export your characters and what that actually means. By quote unquote exporting a go animate character, I am referencing to creating a sprite sheet of that character. For those of you who don't know what a sprite sheet is, I will explain. A sprite sheet is a way that games and animations create images on the screen. Basically, the computer picks which version of the character it needs for each situation. Some sprite sheets are fairly complicated and break up the character's various body parts. But for this tutorial we will make a fairly simple sprite sheet. More advanced, users will be able to use the skills I teach you in this video to create much better, more recent sprite sheets. I will focus mostly on showing you how to grab these images for your own characters. You will have to have various programs to do the export. Obviously, you will need GoAnimate. There is a free trial for the software and most people who makes videos with it use the school version because the real version is a thousand dollars per year. I'd recommend you look into that yourself if you're thinking about getting go animate. Next, you will need Blender. Blender is a free 3D modeling software that many people use to make games or art. Check it out, but I trust it. We will specifically be using its video editing software. It can break up videos into images. It's the key to how you will export your characters. Lastly, you will have to have some paint software to edit the images. I will break up the tutorial into steps based on the program we are using at the time. The first step involves creating what I call a character animations video. Where all the actions you wish your character to be able to do in the export are performed. There are over 340 different actions a comedy world character can perform, and literally those hands that a business friendly character can perform. There are 17 actions a comedy world character can perform, for example dancing, talking on the phone, or running. But there are 20 different faces a character can have while performing these actions. In this step you need to pick which action face combination you want for your export. I recommend making sure you remember the different talking faces, and make sure to get them run. I will put a link to an example character animations video in the description, and will explain how to make a good one right now. I recommend making a white background for your video for most of your characters. Unless they are a character like me that doesn't show up too well on the white. Make sure the all parts of the character show up well, that's why I have chosen grey for this particular example. You don't want your character to be too far in the corner. Especially in this corner because that's where school versions put the logo. If you're using the demo version you'll need to figure out where you can put your character yourself. I don't know where the logo is, but I'm pretty sure it's in the middle. You might need to make your character smaller to avoid the logo. For those using school version I recommend putting the character in this corner, because it gives you more space to avoid the logo. If you make your character go to close to the edge of the screen, you will have to do more moving around. Because some of the animations will go off screen. It's annoying because you'll have to adjust your character a lot. I'd also recommend putting one second breaks in between animations and or putting text on the other side of the screen to let you know which animation is being performed. Using a different color for the background is particularly helpful because it makes it easier to grab the images for each animation. In part 2 of this video, 
I will show show myself creating one of these videos, and the rest of the steps as well. Speaking of other steps time for step 3. This is the blender step. After downloading the Gonimut video, you will convert it into a series of still images. This is explained very well in this video, and I will show it being done for our specific case. But it isn't different from this general tutorial. In step 3 you will make the backgrounds of each image transparent. There could be hundreds of images, so this might take a while. Then you've done it. You've got each still frame for each animation. In part 2, I will explain how you convert these individual images into a sprite sheet that can be used in animations or in video games. Thanks for sticking with me, that's my second tutorial video, and it's the hardest one I've ever made. It took a while to figure these things out. And later I hope to have a video, that will actually show me doing all these actions but that will take a lot longer, and I wanted people to have some clue how to do this as soon as possible. We don't know when flash support is going to be removed from GoAnimate, and we will lose all our starter characters. I want people to start as soon as possible. I am asking people to use the hashtag GoAnimate sprites to catalog the sprite videos on YouTube so we can more easily find them. I'm asking people who want their sprite to appear in my soon to be announced video game version of Gale who has a bad time or C-H-A-B-T or Charbit, to use this hashtag so I can find those people who want to be included in the video game. I will also make a sprite sheet for you if you just give me a video of your character performing various animations. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.